Hey everyone, it's your boy Graphic back with another video, and today we're actually going to be talking about the top 5 reasons you should play New World MMO in 2020. Although the game is still in development, we have started to get enough information out of Amazon to truly understand what this game will be about. This game has a massive amount of positives that we're going to focus on in today's video. Number 5. New World MMO has such a unique story. If you don't know much about New World's story, or what the game truly is, I'll help explain. New World is a massively multiplayer, open-ended sandbox MMO set in a cursed and supernatural version of North America in the 17th century. Players can be anything they want from farmers to soldiers to lone wolves. Now this explanation of New World is all about truly helps you, um, you know, it helps you grasp uh, what Amazon is trying to accomplish here. They're trying to create a beautiful, hidden, creative, yet dangerous world that all of us players will explore with friends, faction members, and our companies. Um, and now we're going to go on to number four. Number four, this game may not be free to play. However, it doesn't cost you monthly like games similar to it. Uh, World of Warcraft, for example, has a monthly fee of close to $15 a month to play the game. Thankfully, it also has no pay-to-win mechanics in the game like a similar game, Black Desert Online. So we're getting the best of both worlds here, having um, just a one-time payment. You buy the game, you get the game. There's no pay to win. There's nothing stupid about it. So number three. So this is pretty easy to explain, um, and it's pretty quick to explain. Uh, new experiences and fresh starts. Now, I am like most of you, and I do look up guides for new games just like the rest of you. However, the amazing feeling of being one of the first players to venture down some of these paths and learn things for yourself without following guides and not knowing what lies ahead of you is a great feeling. So yes, most people look forward to new MMO experiences and want to be some of the first players to reach certain goals. Playing New World MMO would mean you are a part of Amazon's first video game. This is huge. If you don't know somehow, Amazon has a massive amount of money and an insane outreach to consumers. This brings me to my number two. Player population. Almost nobody wants to play a game with a low population. I know personally it has stopped me from playing games in the past. Games I once loved with low population is just kind of less fun. A game with low population can start to feel like everything you accomplish is worthless. If there's nobody uh, you know, there to show off your gear or progression to, then is that progress really that exciting? Maybe to some, however to most people, I seem to find out whether the game is dead or alive has a huge influence on whether the game is fun or not. My hopes are, with New World being created by such a large company, Amazon will continue to advertise and do whatever it takes to keep the population rolling with high numbers. And I will also add, Amazon took a decent jump in coming to the gaming industry. With their first true video game, I think it's safe to say Amazon doesn't want their first game to flop. They want to see it grow like any other company. And like I previously said, what company could make that happen better than Amazon themselves? I don't think they would accept failure as an outcome. This is their chance to get into yet another market. With this idea of never accepting failure, I expect tons of quality updates, and I believe this team will really listen to community feedback. Number one, Amazon is focused a lot on PvE and PvP aspects of the game. So whether you are a die-hard PvE or PvP player, you will have countless fun adventures ahead of you, with missions that include killing other players to missions that have you hunt relics and monsters. This game truly does have a great focus on PvE and PvP fights, taking skill to win and not just grinding carelessly for levels so that you can steamroll lower level players. PvE only and PvP only players are getting tons of content from the sounds of it, and players like myself that enjoy both kinds of content can't wait for it. Is there anything that I missed? Uh, you know, was there anything you would put in the top five? Um, and, you know, thanks for watching and make sure you hit that sub button. We're going to have a lot of New World MMO content coming up in the next few weeks and months ahead. So make sure you hit that sub button, like button, and comment below uh, what part you're most excited for. Thanks again.